you've only got a couple of tour dates left on this current tour, correct? That's correct, yeah. We're wrapping uh, up. Has it been as fun for you as it has been for audiences? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah we've had a blast on this tour. Uh, we have a long history with the Mastodon guys. Uh, we've toured with them several times in the past, and uh, fortunately we've crossed paths over the years too and stayed in touch. Uh, easily one of my favorite bands out there playing music today. Really inspiring, uh, great fans. It's it's been a, a really positive experience. Um, do you have any like personal highlights maybe that you could share from some of the past days? Sure, we we had uh, a really uh, uh, a beautiful show at Red Rocks, uh, Denver, Colorado. That nice. was amazing for us. Uh, you know, just the energy of, of, of that venue uh, itself uh, just it just lends lends to having great music happen there. Um, and of course, when you're there with your friends, you know, making music, it just makes it all that much better. Uh, really, really beautiful place. Uh, we played in Central Park nice. uh, a couple nights ago. Another another outdoor place. It was just really inspiring and really beautiful. Um, and here we are in lovely uh, London. You, you played think, London before, haven't you? Sure, we have. Yeah, yeah many, I don't many know if Mastodon had actually, but I figured you. Had. I think I've seen you here before. Yeah. Um, News broke this week about um, psychic warfare. Are you guys prepared to even chat about that? Sure. You do a bit yeah, of whatever you want to talk it? about. Absolutely. Um, how do you feel this album is going to fit in with the uh, clutch catalog of albums from years gone by? Um, well, you know, it's 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 hard to say because we are so so close to it at this point, and it's so very new to us. Um, I do. Uh, it's it's easier for me to make comparisons or contrast to Earth Rocker just because that was the one that preceded it. Uh, and I feel like when compared to that record, I, th I think there's uh, a little more dynamic range happening on this album. Uh, I think that uh, the uh, the tempo of the songs is a little bit uh, more uh, f f uh, far-reaching, you know? Okay. We, uh, Earth Rocker had a very specific energy to it. Um, it was a very upbeat record. And um, this record also has some of those kinds of so songs but um, I think uh, the, uh, some of the feels are a little different, maybe a little more reminiscent of stuff that we've done even, you know, before Earth Rocker. Okay. Uh, so it's it's definitely a departure from what, what we did last time. What do you think brought that around? Was there a different writing dynamic? You guys are just in different headspaces. The writing dynamic really stays the same, you know. It's, it really just boils down to the four of us getting in a room and jamming. And, and that's really where most of the songs start. Uh, rarely does somebody come to the table with something that sounds like a completed song. Uh, it does happen from time to time, but really for the most part it's, it's, a, it's a pretty organic thing. Um, I think probably the, the, chains, uh, the change in, the, in the, the, the style of songs also happens naturally. We don't really sit around and think, well, we need to do something different than last time. We just t tend to always do that. We sort of just react to whatever we did. Uh, sometimes I think we do that even on a very subconscious level. You might not be able to even answer this, but do you uh, do you feel like you guys have a shorthand together where you can just follow through on something when you're in a room putting music together? Yeah. In yeah. fact, there's there's very little uh, very little conversation that happens. You know, uh, at this point, you know, we've been playing together now for almost 25 years, and yeah. so um, the way these guys play and the way these guys think um, is is, uh, is is something that I can I can I can read almost without any, anybody having to say anything. Um, but having said that, there's still surprises. You know, every yeah. jam that we do, there's always something that comes up that's going to be some kind of a new energy, and it takes, you know, the, it takes a direction in, in maybe which we hadn't thought it would go. And no, li no lineup changes at 25 No years. lineup changes, man. Four, four same guys for, for the whole time. That's unprecedented. It, it is. So let me let me ask you this. Um, sometimes I read reviews of Clutch albums, and the, the Cole's notes is, same old Clutch. Like, you know, it's just... It's like you guys aren't bringing anything new to the table, which I, I think is unfair. But right. um, you must, you must. Do you read your reviews? Have you seen that? Uh, I, I, I don't really read a whole lot of reviews. I don't know the review that exactly you're talking about. You know, uh, you know, we do make an effort to uh, to um, try new things on each album, and, and I think we're better at that than probably any band out there. Yeah. Um, but having said that, you know, look, at the end of the day, it's the same four guys, yeah. and so we sound like what we sound like. Uh, at this point in our career more than ever you know I, I think uh, our uh, our approach to making music the approach that, that we take to playing our instruments um, has refined itself and uh, I know that when when Tim pl plays guitar I can identify him in a room of 100 guitars in a minute and the same goes for Dan and the same goes for Neil 
Uh, so I'm, I'm very proud of that. I'm, I'm very proud that, 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 that we have a sound that's unique to ourselves, and a lot of people even try to copy it, and they, and they uh, you know, that's, that's um, flattering. Um, but, you know, it, our sound is our sound. I, you know, I don't mean that to sound negative. Yeah. I like you guys. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, 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 when I pick up a clutch album, that's yeah. what I want. So, yeah. you know, if you went totally left wing, I think I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, how many songs are going to be on this album? Uh, I think we're looking, uh, it'll be about like Earth Rocker, 10, 11, something okay. like that. And did you, uh, did you work with Machine again on it? We did. We yeah. worked with Machine again. Uh, Machine built a new facility just outside of Austin, Texas. Uh, and I think that definitely lent to the vibe of the album. It's, it's, um, it feels different. It sounds different. Uh, it was nice being out there in, in the country. Um, very, very different kind of a place than, uh, than New Jersey. Have you guys even discussed how you might um, put this out to your audience? Will you do uh, different versions of the album? Uh, packages on your website that you can Yeah, we're, we're getting into that kind of stuff right now. Exactly how, how we release it, I'm not sure just yet, yeah. but um, we do have uh, we have some material that is not going to be on the album, so there are some B-sides and stuff. How those come out and how they make themselves known is, is still, we're still trying to figure that out. Fair enough. Um, are you road testing any of this material or sure. are you going to save it? Yeah, we, we have been. We've been putting new songs in the set uh, just about every night. Okay. Uh, and for us, that's exciting, you know, and I, and I think the fans have grown to not only appreciate that, but expect that. Cool. Um, how close to the original demos of your music do you feel like you stay when you get into the studio? Are they, are they close or do they some change are, a fair bit? Yeah, so, some are very close. Um, some are drastically different, you know. Uh, there, there is no one set way that a song sort of comes to life. Right. So uh, oftentimes a song will sort of write itself in one afternoon and the end result is very similar to, to the original idea. Uh, and there are other ones that we sort of struggle with, you know, trying to find a, a place for that song and an approach for that song that makes it unique. Uh, and so in that case, you know, the, the, the process is very fluid all the way up until, until really until we mix the album. What do you think is the, the best way the Clutch is reaching new audiences right now? Be it the internet, um, like putting your, your music out on shows or... Right. I, I, I th really, I think the, the best way is us just getting out there and playing. Yeah. And, and that's really the way it's been since the beginning of the band. Um, we've had the opportunity to play with a lot of different kinds of bands over the years. And so there would be a lot of folks at the shows who wouldn't necessarily know who we are or what we yeah. do. Uh, but for every, you know, every hundred people, you know, maybe two or three would would uh, um, would attach themselves to it, or maybe something would, would resonate to them. And um, and I think because of that, we have a pretty wide variety of, of, of music fans that, that yeah. come to our shows. I saw a little bit of that at Riot Fest last year. That was kind of a cool mix of everything, you yeah. know. And if you didn't like something, you could walk over and see something else. Sure. I really, I like the way that festival is set up. Absolutely. Um, now that touring and, and, and promoting Earth Rocker is, is, is ending, you've been on a kind of a tour cycle for that album for a few years now. Yeah. Um, do you have any, like a postscript or an addendum that you would maybe put on that album? Something that um, you've noticed as you're, as you're finishing up with it? Well, I definitely think we, we reached a lot of people on that record. That was, that, for us, that record was a tremendous success in, in a lot of ways. Um, I think we gained a lot of uh, new fans from that album. I think that the music uh, got out there to people who didn't know about the band, uh, but it was also a great success for, for our, our label, Weathermaker. You know, we we uh, we started that endeavor um, about eight years ago, and it's been a learning process. And the records that released that we released uh, prior to Earth Rocker were really uh, tests, you know, to to get us to the point where we felt very confident about putting out our own records. Um, and I think Earth Rocker in that respect also was a great success. So we are, we're very hopeful for, uh, for Psychic Warfare. Nice. I like that uh, Power Player and the Regulator showed up on Sons of Anarchy and The Walking Dead. Yeah. I, I, you know what, and uh, someone's doing the friggin' homework in the, in, the, in the marketing department or the yeah. music department at those shows. Yeah. It's cool to hear. Absolutely. I, I, you know, I, I think uh, a lot of it just has to do with, with um, you know, folks who, who were music fans before they got into 
TV production or film or whatever it is they do. And, uh, you know, it's like anything else. You want to hear your favorite music. And, yeah. and so now we have people who work at those shows that are fans of the band. And, and thankfully, they'll, they'll put a little bit of music in there for us. That's, That's got to be... I mean, I, I don't know what... Does radio exist anymore? There's really no music video. Yeah. It's such a great way to hit get people to, to hear Absolutely. Stuff, you know? and, and, and I think those avenues are the, are the ones that are the most successful. Now, do you do you get contacted when sure. something like that's going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. kind of a decision on it? Yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, we, we, uh, we, we have a say as to whether or not we want to be involved with that particular thing. And, you know, in the, in the early days, we would take anything. Any, you know, anytime anybody wanted to, you know, do a fishing video or a, <laughs> or, a, or, a, or, a, or a motocross video or something, we'd say, surely, you know. Uh, these days we're a little more selective, uh, but it's a great feeling to know that somebody wants to put your music uh, in, in that kind of an environment. Having been together for 25 years, do you do you feel a clutch to anything special to kind of nurture their relationship? That's longer than most marriages last, and sure. you guys are you know still together, still jamming, and still friends. So yeah, yeah. is there any steps that you guys? Well, I, I think there? it really boils down to. Uh, the, the goals that we had when we first started the band almost 25 years ago and, and that was really just to make good records and to play good shows and that was really the beginning and the end of it the idea of making a career out of this thing was not on our radar yeah. uh, thankfully we've been able to do that but really at the end of the day we still try to do the same thing we still try to make the best records we can and play the best shows that we can and I think those common goals really are, are bigger than any you know personal discrepancies you have during the day or, or you know you get tired of being on tour or whatever yeah. you know at, at the end of the day we're, we're still up there trying to make the very best show that we can make and, and and I think that keeps us together how would you define musical integrity JP uh, I, I just I think you know playing with your heart play, playing music that really resonates with what you what you believe in um, you know there are plenty of reasons to get in bands um, I got in a band because I wanted to make good music, and the music I wanted to make was was the music that I listened to, and uh, and so for me that's that's integrity, you know. If if, if you're if you're if, if at the end of the day you you made an honest attempt to put your heart into whatever it was you did musically, um, you know that, that 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 is the highest reward. Who do you feel has that that trait in music right now that you're impressed with or inspired to be like? Uh, well, I watch the Mastodon guys every night, you know, and, and um, I, I think they're an amazing band on, on, for a lot of reasons. Um, but uh, one thing is that is that they don't uh, sort of cater to just one element of, of this heavy music scene that we that we see. These, you know, Mastodon plays with a lot of dynamic and a lot of feeling. Um, and uh, they're much more than just a metal band, you know. I, for me, they're one of the greatest bands playing music right now. Um, and lastly, what is your favorite clutch song to play live at this moment? Ah, uh, favorite song to play live. Um, you know, it changes every night, you yeah. know, because sometimes we play songs better than others. Uh, I always enjoy playing DC Sound Attack. Okay. Uh, DC Sound Attack is, uh, is inspired by music that we grew up listening to in Washington, D.C., and, and by that I mean go-go music. Yeah. And um, so the go-go thing was, was, was uh, instrumental in how I hear the drums. You know, and I and I still think about all those great go-go drummers like Juju House and yeah. Brandon Finley uh, and Ricky Wellman. Uh, so th those guys were huge inspirations to me growing up, and I, I still think about them. And uh, you know that 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 particular track is a little bit of a homage to to, yeah. to that sound. I just watched that Foo Fighters uh, series, and you know they, they there you do go. a good episode. That was on really Google great, music and really great. Yeah, I really they, dug that a lot. I know? loved it. Yeah, it was cool. Thanks, man. That was Absolutely. awesome. I really appreciate your time. Cool. Cheers.